and state at shop techno make youtube video today we're at security core headquarters we'll be just training the organization at a lunch and today they're actually celebrating their 16 years of existence and it is it has surely been a long journey that they've traversed and today we are so much honored to have the founder and the managing director of the company <coughs> uh, miss uh, divine lukula ma'am thank you so much for taking your time to join us here Thank Take you away. very much and welcome to the Veneta House. Thank you. Security for the Thank you so much, Mamiya. We feel so much uh, honored and uh, welcome here. Um, back some few minutes, we, we had to speak uh, briefly on, on, on the journey that you have managed to traverse the security. Code. I think also for the benefit of our viewers here on YouTube, but I think we just need to know a bit, a, just a bit on the background on. Who is Securico? How did Securico start? And, 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 and the journey that you've managed to traverse so far? Well, uh, Securico is uh, what you see today. All the 4,000 people that uh, are internal uh, uh, stakeholders of Securico, our employees. Mm -hmm. And of course, our customers out there. Uh, I can't number them because they are far too many. And uh, our other stakeholders, be the suppliers, be our cheerleaders be you know people that support us in the various ways mm -hmm. for us that is all security mm -hmm. and uh, it started uh, as a small a dream uh, but a very big vision in my, in my home mm -hmm. some 16 years ago uh, just to, to to give value to a, a service that we thought needed a bit more hushing up uh, the business idea came about because uh, we saw that uh, there was need to to, to, to give a, a, a bit of a professionalism uh, than what was uh, prevailing on the market at the time. So it, it was mainly due to the fact that see, the people that worked in the industry did not believe in the work that they were doing. They had lost self esteem because society really used to look down upon cards. But uh, I said, you know, if, if we inculcate a sense of, of a pride in uh, what these people do, it's going to be a game changer. Mm -hmm. and certainly, it certainly did mm -hmm. transform the whole industry. People are now happy and proud to be working as a security operatives. And uh, uh, that's a brief, that's how we've come this far. We've just come this far because we believe in giving value <coughs> to our employees, ensuring that uh, we motivate them, we retain them, we, 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 we treat them well, they get their salaries on time. In, in turn, they we are able to give uh, value to our customers. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, given us the growth that we have uh, enjoyed so far. Okay, I think what what actually also uh, inspired me is du during during that luncheon, uh, 2011 in Namibia, I saw you side by side with Sir Richard Branson. Uh, it's one of the people that we actually look up to is is, is upcoming entrepreneurs also. For, for for you to to have that award 2011, I think just briefly. If you can just break the excitement also with our Zimbabwean uh, viewers, they, what, what happened? What made you desire to get that prestigious African award? Well, uh, it was not in Namibia, it was in Nairobi. Nairobi, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, Africa Award for Entrepreneurship is an award that is run by Legata Group in the Omidia Network, I'm sure you know, Pierre and, uh, uh, and uh, his wife, they run uh, uh, the philanthropic, you know, for entrepreneurship across Africa. So there is this award that uh, uh, is open to all entrepreneurs. The, the, the category that I, I won this, at the time was only one category, when they were awarding companies that uh, got a turnover of anything between five and 50 million. Entrepreneurial led, and uh, they looked uh, at various issues, people development, uh, community impact, they look at uh, growth, they look at uh, uh, the, the the astuteness of, of the entrepreneur, they look at, uh, at the, the company, the way the company has grown, what, is, what are the, the success factors that has made it grow. I think the competition was based on that. 3,200 companies, I believe, ended at the time. And uh, low and below, a Zimbabwean came, company came up top in the middle of uh, one of the much harshest. To, much to applause man, from the whole congregation yes, you saw from the video. Yes, you know, uh, <coughs> you know, in a very difficult environment. So it is that tenacity that they looked at. It, mm -hmm. it is the business planning, the, the, I had forward-looking strategies that uh, we have in this organization. 
the people development, the impact that we have in the community, the sustainable issues that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, making differences in people's lives, whether they are people that work here or people that are out there. So that is uh, how we won that award. And uh, for us, we really flew the Zimbabwe flag high because people always look at Zimbabwe as one of those countries that is uh, God uh, for, uh, I don't know, people think we have been God for second, and yet uh, we have got brilliant entrepreneurs in this country. Definitely. And uh, young upcoming entrepreneurs like you are coming up every day and people are doing wonderful and amazing things in a country where the economic environment is not so not so 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 good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think back to our main focus, the technological uh, uh, sector. How you also have managed to improve and change the way we do technology, and, and I think we've been doing it all around. We've been seeing a lot of uh, ICT based technological implementations that you are doing. Uh, I think we may just need to just go br briefly back. I understand that you were not necessarily an ICT based security company before you bought into a certain company. I think if we just shed light into that, when you managed to, to be an ICT based security company, when you bought into that other company, and how the whole thing uh, transpired and where you are today. I think our focus, you know, mm -hmm. has always been uh, going technology because uh, that is the trend in anything and everything that is happening in business today. Uh, just acquiring a company was part of and parcel of what we it, it always been doing and what we endeavored to do. Okay. So when you look at even the way we deploy gases, you might have seen, mm -hmm. we now deploy technologically. The yes. way we manage them, we deploy them technologically. Uh, in terms of installations, we have done a major installations of uh, internet-based uh, surveillance systems mm -hmm. on bank, in banks and mines where you can literally view your, your, your business, if, even if you are in, uh, in San Francisco, on the on your on your phone, mm -hmm. uh, so we we have we have really we keep researching uh, as we as we move in terms of uh, technology mm -hmm. because that is the trend and that is the the, the, the world has become a uh, high tech in anything and everything we do. So for us, our business is also highly technological. Mm -hmm. uh, people look at cars and they think they are just cars. There's a lot of technology even in just uh, uh, managing the cars, even in just uh, you know deploying it. Uh, uh, giving the service to the customer. Mm -hmm. But what, what do you think has been lagging, especially I think from, from my own perspective, security mm -hmm. we don't usually really perceive security as a, as a highly technological innovative company. Have you been a bit lagging on the marketing? Have you not been saying much on how you're in this technological thing? So I think we've seen a lot of technological solutions that we're actually shocked to see that you're actually offering. How come you are not, the, the market should, should I represent it is not fully aware of all these solutions that you're offering. What, what has been the major challenge? Well, I can simply say the, the market in certain segments are fully aware. That mm -hmm. is why we're already doing a lot of uh, uh, work in, uh, in the security technology in, okay. in, in some of the, the customers that we work with in sectors like the mining, like the banking. Mm -hmm. But uh, the average person on the street might be not aware. Mm -hmm. uh, this is why we've got an open week like this, where we invite everyone or people that might not be aware of some of the things that we are involved with to say this is what we are, this is what we do. We, there's been a bit of, uh, of write-ups in the media, in the papers that we do, but perhaps, you know, uh, people might have been missing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think, as you say, we need to do a lot more yeah, work more to ensure that uh, we highlight uh, all this to, to the market out there so that they are more aware. Uh, of what we do, perhaps we have more open days, mm -hmm. perhaps we have road shows, uh, uh, and yes, so on. Yes. So, ICT uh, Expo, we normally also exhibit and we also showcase, but maybe it's different because when you see ICT, uh, us at the ICT Expo, it's different from when you come here at our headquarters. Mm -hmm. I'm sure when you went into our control rooms, you're actually seeing live like things that are happening. Yes. So, I think maybe opening our offices more to most stakeholders is maybe the way we should be going. Mm -hmm. I think I'd also want to comment you on the on the on the pricing structures that you've managed to implement. Mm -hmm. I, I saw that most of the uh, security consumables that you actually have there, there are things that almost every SME or even uh, house owners can actually afford, afford to use yes, that kind of a technology. Absolutely, to absolutely. Homes. An alarm mm -hmm. system. We we got an alarm system which you can usually get installed for two hundred dollars. Imagine. Uh, you know. Uh, you, we've got uh, surveillance systems, that is CCTV system, mm -hmm. 
a four channel which you can put in your shop or even in your home for less than a thousand dollars. So uh, it's, it's technology is actually advanced, it's but, it's, but it's coming cheaper. Yes, that is the yes. beauty of technology. Definitely. It's advancing, it's mm -hmm. moving ahead, but the cost are actually coming down. For, yes, for almost anybody. Absolutely, it's, mm -hmm. it's very affordable to anybody. It's a that. I think it is that this means that all oh, these things are expensive. They are not. Definitely. We, mm. I used to think that they are so uh, no. inaccessible and, 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 and very much yeah, unaffordable. Like we should do a lot more work in terms yeah. of, uh, of, of, the size uh, of, of, of uh, educating people about, about them. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think maybe last but not least, before we just quickly shut up this interview, um, I understand that you've got a local and international accolades, especially locally on the ICT's. Uh, uh, if you can just speak briefly on those ones, what do you think managed to make you have some few ICT hours that you have recently managed to have and the recognition? What has been the secret behind this? Well, I think if it's specific on ICT, it's the, the technological advancement you have seen mm -hmm. that we, we've been working on, the researching on, and implementing. That's, that's how we've been recognized as one of the people, one of those companies that are really ICT focused. It certainly will be for one awards in that regard. For the other awards, I think it's also the way we run this company, the way we, we, we manage this business. Mm -hmm. The way, obviously, we, we have grown from a uh, underdog not uh, long ago in a market where there were much bigger forces that have uh, been in the game for 30 years. How, how did you manage to come up tops from an, an, an economy that already had other players? Uh, fully filled up in such an ecosystem. How did you manage to come up and then you are recognized? I understand you're all of the powers, especially on the security <laughs> side. Well, I think, you know, as I said before, it's really the people. Mm -hmm. I, 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 for me, it was just a vision that I just ensured that I want people that I recruited. We trained them well, we selected the best people that would buy into the vision that I had. And uh, we, we, we motivate people well enough to, so that they can give their best. Mm -hmm. When they give their, their best, the market notices and we are going to grow. That's how we grow. Mm -hmm. When you look at the market right now, what, what percentage can you say you actually have on the market share on the security company? No, I can't say. I, I, I will not be able to say the percentage because our, our security sector is very diverse. Mm -hmm. There are people who are small, there are people who are large, there are people who are not uh, registered, there are people who are registered, but it's all the security sector. Mm -hmm. But what I can uh, safely tell you that we are in the top three in terms of market share. Certainly mm -hmm. we are in the top three. Mm -hmm. I can't say we are at number one, two or three, but certainly mm -hmm. we are in the top three in market share. Mm -hmm. But in service delivery, I'm proud to say we are at the top. Yeah, in, in terms of service, there's no question about it. Because the key accounts mm -hmm. that are all there on the market, we have them. It, uh, we are talking about international brands, international uh, co co corporates mm -hmm. that uh, uh, seek uncompromising service level. We've gotten them and they've been very happy, satisfied with our service mm -hmm. because we've operated at their standards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe last but not least, ma'am, technology versus uh, techn the, the conventional businesses. I understand that it costs about $800 for you to have a card on your premises and then it's going to cost me only $200 for it's my house to use for an alarm. Yeah. Are you also not a victim of technology when no. you see the coming in of technology? No, we are not a victim because mm -hmm. you continue being our customer because we continue monitoring your alarm. Mm -hmm. uh, even a low cost for residential, I think we charge something like 3 to $5 a month to monitor and to be able to respond if there is an activation. So you continue being our customer. It, uh, it it's, it's, it's not as expensive also for us to give you that service as opposed to cutting. It's a lot more expensive. So perhaps the profit margins still remain a uh, profit that we make uh, uh, from you having a card or having is the same. Whereas uh, you know the, 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 the difference might be that the other is more expensive in terms of all it costs. But when it comes to the profit, it's probably profit margin is just being maintained. Yeah. Oh, oh, interesting. <laughs> right, I think just before we close, the last words to our viewers, the, uh, just before we shut down this short uh, YouTube interview, if you have any last words to our viewers? Well, I think, you know, what I can say to the young people out there is dream, dream as much as you can, and uh, uh, you, can, you can reach, you can attain anything you want in life. Mm -hmm. Just believe in yourself. Most importantly, believe that you can do something and certainly is the mind that you win first. If you win the mind, you're certainly on your way to attaining. 
That's the story from one of Zimbabwe's most successful female entrepreneurs, Ms. Divine Nicola, founder and managing director with Security for Zimbabwe. Thank you so much for taking your time to join us and we are so much honored. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for viewers for taking your time to join us here on www.technomec.co.w. Hope to see you soon.